Uh, all right, here we go again. You know, I was thinking, is this weird? It might be weird, but I think, I think it's okay. But I'm not too sure. Anyways, I guess I gotta explain it. So, of course, like any middle-aged mom that has nothing better to do, I was watching, a, not a documentary, I guess a video of some guys going to jail for killing, you know, another person. But they have their family in the courtroom. So, the video basically plays out as you think. You're like, wow. The tense moment. The eye contact between criminal, murderer, versus the family of loved ones. It's like a cool little PvP, but at the same time, it's very emotional for the moral people out there. And, I don't know, I just sat there on the edge of my seat like, man, I couldn't imagine. Like, like we all do. I just couldn't imagine if that was my son. I couldn't imagine if that was my two daughters. I couldn't imagine. And then one got me. One was like a, you know, foreign looking man or, you know, a foreign descent outside of America or England. And he gave us the most, you know, religious, spiritual, not excuse, but the most religious and spiritual loving answer that everyone melted over. Like, I'm sorry that the darkness or the devil has a hole in you, but I forgive you. And it was so touching, I had to share it. I, I just had to share it. And unfortunately, I shared it with a really dark individual, a really uh, toxic man in my life. But anyways, I asked them, I was like, hey, what would you do if that was your kid? And man, he gave me the straight answer, straightest answer. I would go to their family. I would find them, hunt them down, and make sure not a single one of them is left. I'm like, no way, nah. That just puts you in jail, no way. You would do all that, all that, just for one man that the justice system already has in their hands? You would do all that? The family had nothing to do with. What if it's a car ride and he accidentally hit him? You're gonna do all that for an accident? He's like, I don't care. Then of course, you know me. I have to throw him a little bit more examples. I'm like, okay, let's say you break into the house. You're trashing everything. Everything's going crazy. Everything's going haywire. And then you come into the room and you happen to stumble upon one thing you would never expect. A four-year-old looking at you, just staring at you, big eyes, mouth drooling, waddles up to you and just tugs on your shorts like, Excuse me, mister, what are you doing? <laughs> now what are you doing? And I kid you not, straight face, straight answer. He said I'll bend down, smile, shake her head, give it a little rub, or he, rub their head, give it a little rub, and be like, hey, little kid, hold their head down, and punt them like a football. I'm like, Jesus, that's dark. <laughs> that's messed up. But it really shows that emotions are high in those situations. But anyways, uh, might call the cops later. Hopefully it goes well. I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, tell me what you guys would do if uh, someone took away your loved ones. Would you go punt a kid? Would you punt a kid? Let me call Tom Brady. He might. Just to win a Super Bowl. He probably would. <laughs> and then probably kiss the ball later. Ah! Because <laughs> the ball is the kid in the scenario. He kisses his son. Ah! 